Good morning to you my friends, my name is Cork, welcome to the video. I have a bit of a cold this week, so if I sound a little bit funny, that's why. But, I found something else really cool in the city, and I wanted to get another video out. Oh. Well, hello. You know what? That is a great segue into our next segment. Today we're going to be talking about remotely controlling vehicles. This trick is very much like the how to become invisible trick um, I made a long time ago that involved the frog. Um, if you've seen that, you'll know what I'm talking about in a minute. Uh, but this is a lot less complicated to pull off. I discovered this with my friend when we were playing last week, and it was just a random thing that happened, and it was really cool. All you need is a friend, or in my case, just another input device, and you need two frogs, and a gun, pretty much any gun, a uh, shotgun is not recommended, um, and a segue. All you have to do is put one of the frogs onto the Segway and have the other frog with the gun at ready. It works best when player one is on the Segway. I don't even know why, it's just what happens. So, when player one is on the vehicle, have player two shoot player one. Keep shooting until they die. There we go. And after he goes away, if you take player one's input back and try to move, you'll see that you are still in control of the segue. Look at that guy. He, he's totally freaking out. He does not know what to do in this circumstance. So, now you have remote control over this segue. If you press the jump button to respawn, your frog will respawn. But, you will still have control over the segue because it still thinks you're on it. You will be able to control both the Segway and your frog at this point. But, if you press the dismount button, you will instantly snap back to your frog and not have control over the Segway anymore. This trick works with a lot more than just a Segway. When we were doing this, we did a lot of testing, and we found out that pretty much any vehicle without a roof, such as a Segway, a moon buggy, a mobility scooter, um, and other things could be used for this trick, and I'll show you some of those right now. Here we are with the mobility scooters. Same thing, just shoot him until he dies. You don't even have to shoot him until he dies, but it works better that way. You don't have the camera get in your way. There you are, in control of a scooter. And also the moon buggy right here. Oopsie. Right here. Same thing. And you have your own remote controlled moon buggy. This trick can work on boats and jet skis as well. One question that comes to mind though is why doesn't it work on regular cars? I have a theory about it, but it's not 100%. When you're in a car, you are covered up by the car's hitbox, so you can't hit the frog itself. I think that is important, and if you can't hit the frog, the trick won't work. I tried pulling off the car door and shooting through it right at the frog, but it didn't work, so I think even when the car door is off, the hitbox is still there, so you can't hit the frog directly. Your frog will still pop out of the car, but you will not be in remote control. That's just my theory, and... Sounds right to me. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you come up with any other applications for this particular glitch, I would love to know. The only thing I figured out really that you can do with it is when you're on the Segway, you could drive through a door without it actually bringing you into that instance, which is pretty cool, but kind of worthless. If you come up with anything else that's really cool that you can do with them, I would be really psyched to know about that. So post it in the comments. Thank you guys for watching, and if I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night.